So, you're trying to learn any percent. And then you realize you have to do a Pona Clip. Pona Clip is a dumb trick. It really is. But, this cue is actually pretty good. I'm gonna try to show a way that should be like 90% consistent if you're patient enough to get it set up properly. Alright, so you want to line up like all the way down here. Maybe not quite this far, but basically you want to turn so that when you hit this wall, the opponent will auto-turn like this. That way you'll have a guaranteed angle. That way you know that your position isn't like fake or something. Um, and hang on, let me fix the camera controls. Darn Fino. Um, basically, alright, so I'm going to show this is what you want to be looking at. See this diagonal line right here? It's like right there. That's what you want to be looking at. Um, and essentially you want that to be in the middle of this hoof. Like right here basically. And if it's close enough to the middle then you can do this visual cue that I'm going to show for aiming upon That should work most of the time like the vast majority of the time. So basically I'm gonna have to scoot up and back and forth trying to like nudge opponent into position and it's somewhat frustrating. So this is too far forward for example. So you try to nudge her forward. Unfortunately it's hard to nudge her forward. It's much easier to like move opponent a little backwards by doing kind of like what I'm doing. Her hoof will move like barely backwards each time. I moved it too far. But basically, you get the idea, and as soon as I get this into position, I'll show what I'm talking about a bit more. I'll do this a few times, I think. Alright, uh, no, I went one too far. I'm used to the other cue that I normally... Okay, there you go. Okay. So, her hoof is going to move in a second here, but right now it's lined up. Um, so basically, whenever her hoof is in the standard position right here, see how this, the, this is basically lined up with the middle of her hoof? That's basically what you want to see. I think there's a bit of leeway, but you don't want to go too crazy on that. Okay, and then you're going to hold ZL and just start tapping right a little bit over and over again until opponent turns. Um, you don't want her to turn, like, actual turn, because then uh, she might, like, actually move out of position and you don't want that. Okay, and so basically then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to actually line up Epona. Um, there's a way to do this using the camera stick and the uh, control stick. Basically what you do is you line up the camera with the right stick, however the heck you want it to be, and then hold very slightly back on the left control stick. And honestly, you have to do it a few times to understand what I'm saying. You don't want to hold so far back that... Um, Epona rears up, but you can hold back far enough so that she re-angles, and you can kind of tell that she actually changes direction. Okay, and so basically, we want, um, so I'm going to angle it a little bit more this way. And if you rear up, it's not the end of the world. You just She usually won't move out of position. It's just waste time. Alright, so basically, um, we're looking right here at the top of the boomerang, right? So, basically what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that, just FYI, I zoomed the camera all the way out, make sure you do that, uh, but we want the top of this to cover this, and this is going to be hard to see, but this diagonal line, like right to the left of this boomerang, there's like a faint diagonal line, I'm not sure if it's going to be able to be seen, but like right around here-ish. And there's a white dot up in the left of it. Um, and essentially what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to angle this so that uh, the diagonal line is covered up but the white dot is not. So like this is too far to the left. But if I go like here, right, that diagonal line looks like it's covered. The white dot's still showing. Now I can just back up nine steps and do it. And of 
course, since I'm recording, this is probably not going to work. But basically, uh, at this point, I mean, you can pause buffer to go through, but it's perfectly easy to just do like a backflip whenever you're about to go in the ground. So you just get on a quota, and as soon as she goes on the ground, you backflip. It's like super easy. Um, and it's way faster than pause buffering, which, frankly, pause buffering doesn't even make it more consistent, I don't think, from like messing around with this. Okay, so see here, I didn't get the auto angle, but this is like a good enough angle anyways, so it shouldn't matter. Um, this might be, this might work. I'm gonna actually test to see if this works. This is like a little farther forward than the middle, obviously. You can kind of tell whenever this moves back, this is just a little bit further forward than the middle, but it should be able to work. So we're gonna turn upon us slowly. I'm gonna change the angle so that we're like uh, around here-ish, right? And you can adjust this a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if... I, I think that if you're... Um, if the line goes further up on the hoof, like further to the left side of the screen here on the hoof, then... Um, then you basically want to make the Q be a little bit further to the left, but I think that the Q should work just fine, so long as you're doing something close to the middle anyways. Again, nine steps of counting the right foot, by the way. Yeah, and then as soon as she gets to the ground, you back flip. I'm gonna do it one more time, just to show off that this is pretty consistent. Um, I mean, occasionally you'll get... I don't know if I'm going to be able to show it, but sometimes you'll run into the wall, and you won't know why it didn't clip in, but you just ran into the wall, and you're, like, right up against the wall. This is, like, perfect positioning. Um, you'll be, like, right up against the wall, but you didn't go in. Uh, if you just backed it up nine steps, basically... Counting however many she does immediately because she's like too close to the wall or something, um, which is usually like two steps. Then basically, if you count to nine from there, right? So seven more. Um, you get back into position. You have a good angle, and you can just try it over and over again. Usually, after a couple tries, she'll end up going in the ground. Make sure not to turn your angle whenever you get off Pona. I think I might have there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. This could just be a backup, though. That's basically what a backup would look like, though. Like, you run into the wall like this, and then she'll start backing up automatically. Now, I think I messed up the angle. Um... But that's what it would look like, and then you just back up Opona and try again. And usually if you're using this, and don't mess up the angle right before you backflip. Um, I'm actually curious if this is going to work at some point. Yeah, like that. See, it still ended up working, even though it, I think I messed it up to begin with. But like after a couple backups, which are pretty fast if you're not buffering, um, it's like an extra 10 seconds per backup, maybe. It's not that bad, uh, considering this is a trick that can lose, like, several minutes if done poorly. Like, that's why we would want to waste time doing a good setup rather than shielding it. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so... Essentially, that is a pony clip, and... That's the bulk of a pony clip. I'm gonna go ahead and ride around one time in terms of the route that you're supposed to take. So, you can go, like, kinda over this area right here to the left. You get a little drop. I might have dropped too far there, actually. You wanna basically still be high enough where you can clip back in up there. I might be high enough, but basically, if you drop down, then you can cut across more of this. Uh, otherwise, you'd go further around that way. I might still have enough height, actually. It's pretty amazing. So that was like picture perfect what you want. 
because you can cut like all the way across the field. But it's really risky to go for that because sometimes you drop too far down. Anyways, if you really want to be careful about it, you basically can just avoid trying to get the drop and then going further to the right to get around that area. And just make sure you don't clip back up in bounds. You go underneath the hill here and then clip back up onto it. You go out of bounds right here. It's the highest point. That's why we go out of bounds right there. You want as much height as possible. Make sure you don't go too far to the left where I was. I probably almost crashed just right there. But if you go super far to the left there, you'll crash. And that's bad. And then basically, you just want to ride over to the tunnel and backflip in. I should take the arrow off the screen. Oh. Okay, so I'm currently riding. I'm not yet under the tunnel. I'm still not under the tunnel. Now, I'm probably under the tunnel, so if I backflip here, then I'll be in the tunnel. You don't have to pause buffer for that, but you can. Uh, that's just something you have to practice, figuring out how the tunnel should look right before you backflip. Uh, if you do backflip early, you're close enough to this area that basically if you quickly open the collection menu um, before you void, you can save warp, essentially. So you could save and then quit, and then you end up behind this rock, even if you never actually landed up here, which is really cool. So basically, if you get the clip down that way or whatever, when you ever clip into the ground, as long as you get up near this area, around this height, um, then even if you miss the back clip, it's like only 30 seconds or something. I mean, it's not great, but it could be worse. I mean... If you had to do it all over again, that would suck. Like, if it killed runs rather than... I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. Um, but that's basically a pop -up. It's It's a pretty easy trick. Like, once you get down to, like, knowing exactly what to do. I mean, I got it three times in a row. One of them had a couple backups, but I'm pretty sure I messed up the angle, which is definitely avoidable anyways. Uh, but even then, like, a couple backups is not the end of the world. Usually you'll get it first try with this. And I've, like, I don't think I've ever gotten the time where I, like, slide up to the right on the little edge with this setup. So, pretty safe and good. Anyways, that's basically all I wanted to talk about. Thanks. Bye.